All right, I'm about to show you an SAT math trick you can use to save you some time. So the graph of a line in the xy plane passes through the point 1, 4 and crosses through the x-axis at point 2, 0. The line crosses the y-axis at the point 0, b. What is the value of b? So what a lot of people will do here is they'll use these two pairs of points, this point 1, 4 and this point 2 and 0, and they'll use that to create their equation y equals mx plus b, and then they'll plug in 0. And that will get you to the correct answer as far as solving for b right, when you plug in zero for x in your equation, but there's a faster way to do this. In the SAT math section, you want to save as much time as you can. So what is the faster way to do this? Well, if you're going ahead and you're making that formula and using that equation for a line, that's going to take you a long time. So what you can do instead, since we see we have a point zero for x, is we see when we go from two to one, so going back one x, we go up by four. Okay, so if we were to go back another one from, uh, from one, we're going to get to zero. We just add another four then, and we get eight. So our answer then is going to be eight. Okay, so we see by doing that, we're saving all that time that we would take using these two pairs of points and creating that formula for a line and then plugging in zero and then solving for B. And we just take that and we save so, so much time by just recognizing when we go from two to one, we go up by four. So going from one to zero, we're going to go up another four. Four plus four will give us eight. Eight's our correct answer. So look at how much time we save by doing that rather than calculating our slope and then calculating um, our y-intercept using our... Um, two pairs of points. Notice how much quicker it is just to go over one, over another one, up four, and then up another four. Okay, so see how much quicker that is than if you were to go ahead and calculate your equation y equals mx plus b, and then um, solving for when uh, that is zero. Okay, so that's just one tip that you can use to save some time there.